Hey guys, long time no see. I've been really busy moving and traveling and stuff, and I will talk about that some other time, not right now, because I have something much cooler to talk about right now. On Saturday, May 31st, which was two days ago, as of this filming, I drove up to Aschaffenburg, Germany, and I'm really sorry if I just butchered that pronunciation. In any case, that is where I went to go see the band Gurugamesh in concert. A little bit of backstory about Gurugamesh. They are a Japanese metal band. They've been around since like 2005, but this is only my second time seeing them in concert. I also saw them back in 2007 at J-Rock Revolution in Los Angeles. When I heard them back in 2007, I remember thinking, wow, these guys really rock, that was a great show. But honestly, at the time, I was more focused on Mook, because you guys know already, Mook's my favorite band. However, I've really wanted to see them again, ever since then, and I finally got my chance. Doors open at seven o'clock, concert started at eight o'clock. I actually walked up to the venue as they were starting to let people in. So I didn't get there early enough to wait in line all day and get front row or anything like that. I walked up like at the last minute, basically. At least the last minute for getting in on time since the show didn't actually start till eight. You guys know whenever I go to a concert by myself, I like to make a friend or two. Well, this time was no exception. There was a girl standing in front of me in line who was also there kind of by herself. She had friends there, but they were somewhere else. And she and I ended up hanging out. We stood by each other during the concert and danced and talked and had a great time. Honestly, it was so fun. So as I've advocated many times, do not be afraid of going to a concert by yourself. If you want to see a band and none of your friends want to go, just go. You'll make a new friend and it's fun. Anyway, anyway, moving on. The venue was tiny. It was really small. It was just a little club. God, are you kidding me? What? Um, uh, um, eh. <laughs> maybe I should give you, I will give you his phone number. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why he gave you my phone number. I will give you his phone number. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Reagan, stop giving my number to these people. Just give them your number. Anyway, <laughs> the venue was really small. It was just a little club. There couldn't have been more than a few hundred people in there. Honestly though, that was amazing. I love going to tiny intimate shows. It's easier to feel a connection with the band and also a connection with the other fans. That's just my opinion, but I really like small intimate club shows. So after they scanned my ticket, and by the way, this was my ticket. I really hate printing my tickets offline, but it's free. And they scanned it and I walked in and the crowd was just kind of mingling, going to the bar, going to the merc table, just hanging out. And so I kind of just walked right up and I was like fourth row, off to the left hand side, but fourth row nonetheless, which is great. That is a really good spot in the crowd considering how late I got there. After standing around for a few minutes, I realized that nobody was really coming in behind me and I thought, you know what? If I go buy a t-shirt right now, I probably won't lose my spot. And so I did, I went and got in line and I bought the t-shirt that I am wearing right here. This is what the front of the t-shirt looks like. Really cool purple and green skull design. Here we have the back of the t-shirt, which of course has all of the tour dates. Like I said, I got there right around seven o'clock and the concert didn't actually start until eight. So even after I bought my t-shirt, there was still just a lot of standing around, but that was cool because I had that friend I'd made in line. And so we just chatted the whole time about other J-Rock bands that we liked, anime that we liked, things like that. Finally, at eight o'clock, the band took the stage. Like I said, I was to the far left side of the stage, about four rows back, and I had a perfect view of Ryo and Shu. Shu being the bass player and Ryo being the drummer. Ryo in particular was just a basket of energy. He was so much fun to watch, holy crap. He was smiling from ear to ear the whole night. Every chance he got, he would jump up from his drum set and wave at the crowd, try to get us pumped. He was awesome. He was just, he was amazing. Shu was also amazing. He stayed right in our little corner for about 90% of the show, which was really cool. I enjoyed watching his hair bounce because <laughs> it was really bouncy. The only downside of that was that Ni, like, never came to our side. He came over there like two or three times for the entire concert. Otherwise he just stayed on the other side. So Toshi, the lead singer, was everywhere. He was everywhere. Front, back, middle, side to side, you name it. I mean, he was everywhere, jumping off of things, constantly trying to get the crowd involved. He was so interactive. And that's honestly, that was one of the things that really stood out to me at this concert was just how interactive they were with the fans. Sometimes you go to a concert and the band just stands up there and they play and they don't really do a lot to engage the audience. But I think every single song, Satoshi was like making people clap or he was like, go like this, or he was like, jump, jump. 
Like every single song, there was something that we were supposed to be doing and he was letting us know what that something was. I'm not gonna go into detail of the set list because I am really bad at set lists. I never remember what songs play. I get confused. I'm like, did they actually play that or did I listen to it in the car on the way home? The songs in particular that I remember them playing and really, really enjoying were Drain, and Incomplete, which are both off their new album. Incomplete was a lot of fun because that song is just really high energy and so there was a lot of jumping and a lot of movement. The crowd really got into it. The same can be said for Drain. Drain had a lot of really heavy parts, so there was a lot of head banging to be had. The whole concert, honestly, there was a lot of head banging to be had, which is great. I haven't been to a good rock, metal, head banging, my neck hurts the next day kind of concert in a while. I really needed it. <laughs> It was awesome. The whole concert was so high energy, the crowd was so engaged, the band was so engaged, everybody was having an awesome time. Really, it was just an amazing concert. By far the best concert I've been to in years. Years. I can't remember the last concert I went to. It was probably the last time I saw Mook, like three or four years ago. That was probably the last time I had this much fun at a concert. So, yeah, in conclusion, great show. Amazing band. Highly recommend going to see Garugamesh if you ever have a chance. Their new album, Monster, is on iTunes USA. You can buy it for like less than $15, I think. So I highly recommend doing that because the whole album is very, very good. And that's it. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.